Hello, Hello, good evening. Welcome to another special edition on your number one favorite gospel TV program. It is CWE on TV. And of course, I remain your host, George. Today, we are at the Terra Culture, Victoria Island, Lagos, and it is the movie premiere of Bishop's Cabinet. Bishop's Cabinet, yeah. A new movie right here on the movie scene and of course um, we actually don't know what is going to happen we don't know what is going to go on we don't even know what is to be expected but I tell you something after this red carpet session we're going to see what is going to be off the bishop's cabinet
all right still on the red carpet i have the main man um well, what else can i call you um let me just say the interpreter of the, the, the interpreter of the script yeah yeah and even the made the story okay. from the script to the screen possible yeah from script to screen okay i'm talking about no other person but the director it's nice having you on my red carpet okay so tell us something i know you have a whole lot i mean that went through to put this on set to put this from script to screen tell us something to you from your experience it's man it is worth discussed see one the thing i do tell people is um there is nothing good that comes easy you know the truth is you must press through a lot of hurdles to make them fry in spite of difficulties from the artist sometimes the artist want to nag on location and sometimes camera might you know mess up and all that but it's all about the director the person who has who is at the forefront you know the frontier it depends on the person to know what he wants and what he's trying to achieve for him to make everything a reality and then you having the spirit of god i will not finish my statement without saying something about the spirit of god if you have the spirit of god in you okay. everything becomes possible that's the truth because you see the bible says except the lord watcheth the watchman watcheth in vain you understand me so except the spirit of god i know a lot of people understand who embarked on such uh, a project without finishing it till today but the spirit of god made it possible for everyone of us you know and not only on production after everything when we started in our post-production on the studio a lot of things happened even twice it got crashed and the system you understand on all that and i had i was called upon and um i i i i, I we we re-edited it just twice you know but uh it was quite challenging anyway but we thank god in spite of all against all odds everything came out successfully well and all that and i i really give praise to god because um it's worth being thankful to god uh. Tell me, what do you feel about uh, this uh, title, Bishop's Gate? Bishop's Cabinet. Well, Bishop's Cabinet. Yeah, well, um, the, the name sounds um, striking, actually. I want to imagine a group of bishops sitting down together, and um, just a group of bishops. That's what he tells me, but I feel that there is so much more about the bishops. I, have, have, you, have you seen the movie? No, I have not. What are your expectations? Well, from what I've been hearing, from what I've garnered, uh, the Bishop's Cabinet is all about um, it's all our family. It's all about um, having responsibility, family responsibility from parents to children and um, children to parents to vices, ills, societal ills. Yeah, that, that all of that being captured into the movie, The Bishop's Cabinet. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Bishop's Cabinet. You don't expect to get anything better than this. Yes, we're expecting some superstars to come on board. You're going to see them and I thank God that we're seeing... Decided to come down south and make earth his home. Also, how to put up with the things you can do all in the time with no cars or selling the phones. JC was in the flesh, blood and bone. All the pain you felt to him was not for it. That's his daddy chickens, maybe making your moan. The same passive back then, but it kept himself holy. If he had won, it could have been a true player. Cause he had all the gifts of a soothsayer. Knew that outcast release a groove here. In 2004, knows what would happen later. He got a pot on me, she stepped out of line. He was non alcoholic, to get some water to wine. I just need all your to listen while I'm dropping my rhyme. Cause the message here is simple, and the thing I'm implying is I know a man who was just like you he was living in the land and tempted just like you he did not fall he did not fall he did not fall, did not fall. remember jesus was a man who was just like you uh, yeah. 
start to fail when you compromise You tell yourself it doesn't matter, come from lies See it fly, honey, yum, yum, her thighs Wanna look, touch, feel, taste, mm, bye-bye It's a story of a story, but it could've been in glory Wasn't holding eyes fully, got him to a dark and lonely place It's scary as hell, and he's hot too Look at all the drama that you've seen has brought you You don't have to be like that, you can change it Bring the pieces of your life, go with the it Put you back together, or make you look fly The body, spirit, and soul no longer have to die Ain't it easy, I'm not gonna deny And if you're rich, you're kind of up, I threw a little lie But we serve a God of impossibilities, brother smile Say he did it in the flesh, dude, so can I I know a man who was just like you He was living in the land and tempted just like you He did not fall he did not fall. Remember, Jesus was a man yeah. who was Check it just out. Uh, like you. Uh, yeah. Then say, don't have no fun or drink some alcohol. Just know that something's wrong when you're having a hangover. Do everything down to moderation. You don't have to eat up the constipation. Play with a person after fornication. It's wrong with a crooked boss with no gaze. Remember this, it don't matter the occasion. Put your foot down and resist the temptation. Or better yet, just avoid the location. Some substance that would tempt you if it's drinks, they don't take none. It's hot time that you quench the desire. Prepare your mind, you're gonna end in the fire. Ladies, make up your mind, don't make up for her man. Cause if she catches you, assure you that she will not understand. I know a man who was just like you. He was living in the land and tempted just like you. He did not fall. He did not fall. He did not fall. He did Remember Jesus was a man who was just like you I know a man who was just like you He was living in the land and tempted just like you He did not fall He did not fall Remember Jesus was a man who was just like you speaking with Giovanni. Giovanni played a role in the movie The Bishop's Cabinet. Giovanni, it's nice meeting you on the show. This is CWTV. My name is George. Okay. So, Giovanni, tell us something. What role did you play in the movie? I played uh, the angel. Oh, the angel. Yeah, angel. Actually, there's a part in the movie where angel visits the main the bishop. So, I was that angel. In fact, in the promo, I'm the first guy who is shown. Yeah. So tell us something about the angel. I mean, his characteristics. Um, <laughs> What's about the angel. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to describe him, but well, since I haven't seen one in real life, but <laughs> yeah, but well, he, I think he came in to like admonish the bishop over some of what he was doing while he was while he was heading, That was when he was in the sick bed and to try and um, find a way to make the bishop change his ways before um, before he... Well, I don't want to really give away the plot, that's it. <laughs> Everyone is holding this movie from us. I mean, we just need a synopsis, but it's no problem. I think we will still get to watch all and all of it on stage. Yeah, okay, on the screen. All right, no problem. So tell us something about your experience. Okay, on yeah. the... Yeah, it, it was great. Actually, that was my first movie. Yeah, I was just debuting in the movie industry. Just went to audition and then I was picked. Wow, that's that's success. So tell us something. Do you have plans to further in the movies? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm um, involved in some sitcoms and some soap opera. I'm also, apart from acting, I'm also into writing. Like, um, there's a movie I wrote that's, um, that came out last year. That's figuring. Oh, okay. Now, sorry, I didn't. I don't know that. Yeah, I don't know that. <laughs> well, now you know. Now you know. I wrote the figurine. 
Yeah. Nice script, actually. Everyone can testify to that. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. So, well, basically, I want to improve my at least we get to the Zenith in both acting and script writing. Yeah, it's something I've had passion for for a long time, and I find out that I'm doing well in it. So why not stick to it? You know what the Americans say: if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. All right. So tell us something. What's what's your area of um, study? Do you actually go into um, studying film? Or scripting or something. You know the funny thing, I never did that. In, I never did that in school. I did business administration in Unilag, and all through secondary school, primary school, I never acted. It's it's so funny because like I remember seeing a secondary school mate of mine, and we're talking. I told him where I was into um, to act into movies now, and like, but when we're in school, you never, yeah. So it was just one of those things that just came up, and then. You know, a friend of mine. I tried acting some time ago when I was when I finished high school some years back, and then, well, it didn't really work out. Then for three years, got frustrated. I went to school, university, and then sometime two years ago, I had a friend who was telling me, "Look, you got this thing in you. Why not burn all that time? I was just all my acting out there was just in church, the church drama group, and from there." We now I now decide, okay, let me just take a plunge. After three years of this guy admonishing me, let me just try and see and well, here we are. The rest is All right, man, this is success.
CWE TV. Good evening, madam. Good evening, nice having you. Your outfit, sweet. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. My name is Favor Benson Obodo. Okay. Um, from not grapevine this time, we've been hearing this is you, and you're the producer of the Bishop's Cabinet. Tell us something about the Bishop's Cabinet. Okay, um, the Bishop's Cabinet is about um, uh, a man of God okay. who had the anointing, who you know can carry out the miracle. He knows the word, but his home front suffered. You understand? And then you know when um, you don't take care of your Jerusalem, then definitely there's no how you can. Even if you have result there, it was it's still going to bounce back at you. So the whole essence of Bishop's Cabinet is that. We want to kind of use it to readdress the family circle, you know, that um, it's, not, it's not just um, that um, you are an MD, a chairman, or um, whatever, that whoever you are, whether you are a bishop, an archbishop, or a man of God, that you should also understand that as you are doing that work very well, you should also look back you know look inside your home you should know who your children are who your wife is who your husband is and you know so you just try to marry the three of them together that way you'll be able to balance it that so tell us something how was i mean being in charge of production yeah being on the crew side mm -hmm. how did you feel like it was really quite um taxing i don't even know i don't know the word at a point i felt like running away but each time i keep telling myself you can't run this is your thing it's not like when you're an actress now or you're acting now and then they call you for a location and then you carry your bag and you come there and you feel like oh these guys are not doing and then you carry and then take a walk but each time i just felt, felt like running off and i just i you know i, I could just run to a, walk to a point and then i'll come stand again and and i say no this thing is your production you have to go back there and you know so what Honestly, honestly, I just don't know whether in a long time I will really want to go through this again, you know, but I think I will, I will just like want to kind of take a break for a while, you know, it's quite tight. So. Well, that's for you being on the crew side. Now, I've been speaking with a whole lot of your cast members and they've been like, wow, the experience was wonderful. It was this, it was that, it was this. Yes, wonderful. But tell us something, you as an actress in the movie, what was the challenge? You know, why I had a challenge because um, I had I started having challenge from the beginning because the role that I had to play the bishop wife I was not supposed to play that role. It was supposed to be played by Ngozi Ezon, and somehow Ngozi was to go to America, and already the whole thing has been booked. You know, location paid for everything, and then she was like, if if she could stay back and do her own, and we say, there's no how you can do your own bit and then go off when you are, you know, you are the bishop wife, so you are everywhere, you know, and then all the other artists were not ready because we had a date that we had already told them we were all going on location and we had already booked ahead, so. At a point when we started looking for Florence Onuma, we started looking for Cassandra, and then uh, we couldn't find them. We were all on location, and the director just said, "Come off, come, come to think of it, Favor, you are an art, you are an artist now. So what are we talking about?" And I said, "No, no, no, no. I'm the producer. I, I don't want to do that." And you know, so he now said, "Look, we're losing time. We've already lost three days in the hotel. We paid for how many rooms, and we didn't use it because we're looking for." This particular um, you know character so and that was how I just like okay and you know and then I had to look at the script and then I had to really and when you're working with Sir Jackson oh my he, he doesn't spare anything whether you're a producer or not once you are on the set you're an artist and he treats you like one so you know I had to juggle the production expert at the, being the producer and also acting it was not really easy for me but you know, maybe because um, he has a style of doing his own. You finish the work, you know, the script, you must go through your script. There must be rehearsals and everything. So when you enter location, the first two days you are rehearsing and all that. So when you go on location, you are just giving it to him, you know. So basically it was not for me. Oh, maybe because it's the first time, you know, this is my first production. So, yeah. Say Christian, Lord the Gadu. Allah. If not lie, move your body to the Gadu. So. Hallelujah, make you dance to the Gadu. Amen. Praise the Lord, make you shake to the Gadu. Now who the city say Christian, Lord the Gadu? Allah. If not lie. It's astonishing that gospel music is stealing the dance space from secular singers, but with a duo like 
Neverman and Soul Snatcher. The guys in the top top MCs you realize that the instruments of the craft are not carnal but might to the king of hearts and save your souls. Yo, take my picture, cheese. I know we're big, and we're also big overseas. Guys around the world are feeling our steeds, and the ladies are screaming it. See, that's us in the spotlight. We the own clone the line. You know we look tight. Make chatter faster than we can spread it. Got our own comics investments in Germany. But 35, I own my own jet. Mansion by the lake, and I ain't done yet. Wait a minute, I'm losing direction. I feel foolish, I need your correction. Put first the kingdom, my brother, and the things you boast for, Najara. Lord, please bring me back if you have to hit my head like a conga slap. I'm back again, again, need you to put me back on track again Save me, cause I'm slowly going insane Maybe I should take time to explain You gave me the music, but I abused it Music brought fame, and yes, I misused it Every other night, your help, I refused it I don't understand how I got confused It seems like I'm addicted to the mic and the limelight Sacrifice rhyming right just to rhyme tight Autographs, photographs, and reviews Polygraph my paragraphs and interviews It ain't hard to see I've not been true not to the public, but, but to, to you too. Lord, what I'm saying is with no delay in my flesh is slain. Behind the video. T.Y. gave me a call. She called me about 11 p.m. and she said, oh, guess what? We're going to um, shoot Ekundayo tomorrow. And I'm like, oh, great. Where? You know, in Lagos. And, you know, she's like, no, we're going to Kogi State. Ayinka. So I called him up and then with Leke Baduru and Shino Beno, we hopped on a plane and went off to Ilan. Ekundayo Shubo Imiko Ishe Oluwani her words resound over and again Undoubtedly I've been changed My heart and your life, your heart touched mine And finally I realized Even I can give a lie Behind the video Behind the video. Momentum and the whole idea behind the song that T.Y. had written. <laughs> when we got to Kogi State, um, you know, we started to set up. T.Y. had everything in her head. The biggest challenge that I had was I didn't just want to make another nice music video. We found out that a lot of the orphanages in the country are very seriously underfunded. I wanted a music video that would really tug at the hearts of people and make them want to do something. Behind the video. Screen and it's all mine. Clouds go gray. From the roars and the earth sings. The season's just beginning. The sunlight it hides as the clouds make way. For the pouring of my blessings, I will not be afraid. I see it now, I understand, I know. So I embrace it, dance. In the rain, it's for my seed to grow. For every prayer and every seed I've sown. 
Lord of the harvest knows I'm reaping back a hundredfold The land is green, it's green, oh, oh The land is green, it's green, can't you see? The harvest is ready, cause the Lord of the harvest told me so It's green, it's green for me It's green, it's green for me Standing alone can be a heavy load But my vows I won't be breaking Though my heart is aching I got a word and I won't let go It's your will I'm sick and so I keep on believing I see it now, I understand, I know So I embrace it then Once again it's time for me to grow For every prayer and every tear I've sown Lord of the harvest knows I'm reaping joy a hundredfold The land is green, it's green, oh, oh The land is green, it's green, can't you see? The harvest is ready, cause the Lord of the harvest told me so It's green, it's green for me I thought it was over, thought you were done with me But we're just beginning, whoa, my life is a journey I will walk with you, I will go Where you want me to, yes, I will go Behind the video. Behind the video. There's so much more that we can do, and there's so much joy. The joy that that you feel when you actually go out there and, and become a blessing to another human being is beyond whatever sacrifice you have to make. Ni tomo no me dogu o ni omo ki se ogun mi wo n be olorun koko mi ma se o si se iya ni behind the video as the director performed shots of the video she had actually gone off with abby oh, to cook to shoot the, the documentary That's style part written. of it and um so it was now the pretty pictures to add to it what we wanted to do was find some sort of a juxtaposition between barren land, barren field, or something that was barren, and then the beauty of the talent in there. 
So what we did was we had very rustic surroundings and then the women were elaborately dressed. How did you feel, Antipomi? Hot. <laughs> Oh, but it was fun. It, it was fun. It was really strange doing the fast, you know, the fast part. I didn't just want to make another nice music video. We found out that a lot of the orphanages in the country are very seriously underfunded. I wanted a music video that would really tug at the hearts of people and make them want to do something.